So this is Namda Majumdar, who has been in human resources for over 19 years. All right, so Nanda, can you give us a brief introduction of your career? And yeah. All right, so I started my career in uh, the field of business journalism, interestingly. I used to be with uh, the uh, Economic Times and uh, Business Standard and Business Today magazines, and I used to write on management. And so I was a, initially a management writer. I transitioned to uh, human resources consulting with Mercer in 1999. That's when I actually, um, you know, uh, made a career transition to uh, advising and to uh, working in the field of human resources. Subsequently, I moved to different companies uh, to head human resources, which uh, I've been heading human resources for almost 19 years now, um, in different MNCs. Uh, including SAP India, Universal Music Group, Manpower, Wispraft, and uh, currently I lead uh, a, a much larger, bigger role in a law firm, uh, Nishit Desai Associates. So that's really, in a nutshell, my background. I've been a career uh, CHRO, so to speak, and uh, this is both my passion as well as my training. All right. So today, um... How, what skill, what tech skills would you like? What, what uh, I'm just trying to stop, sorry. Yeah, all right. So, what tech skills should students develop in addition to what they are learning in college for human resources? Right. So, I think uh, fundamentally, uh, you know, human resources today, and since you mentioned tech skills, I'm just going to first talk about larger, broader skills you need in human resources. I think at the crux, you need to be a very people-oriented person. You need to have someone with a great deal of emotional quotient as well as social quotient, you know, where you have a genuine interest in people, how they behave, what makes them tick, how you motivate them, how you can develop them, you know, and really that at, at the, you know, at the heart, you need that. You know that inclination because if you're someone who doesn't really like to be among people who's not really keen in keenly interested in people you really won't make much of a career in human resources that's the first point secondly you also need a very you know as i say hr is both a science and an art you know so in a way you need to have a pretty a uh, broad understanding of organizations, of business, of systems. And so you have to have some ability for conceptualizing, for disciplined uh, working, for uh, running in a system, and so on and so forth. So tech skills, really, uh, you also realize the world has changed. You know, what used to exist 10 years back no longer exists. So you need a lot of agility as a human resource professional. You need someone who's very flexible, has Ability. So one of the biggest skills you need is high learnability, ability to pick up things, connect the dots, learn anything that's coming in your way. Whatever tools you're seeing around you as an HR professional, you need to be interested in learning about them. You know, a lot of HR people tend, tend to think that's less important and they lag behind. But it's important to be in, you know, on top of whatever skills are available, whether it's social media skills, whether it's any kind of systematic working you by using technology, by uh, managing to make human connect, you know, with the use of whatever resources you have, whether it's technology or whether it's other people and networks and various other things that you need to become successful in this career. All right. So what other guidance do you have for students who are looking to enter human resources? So human resources in a very, very basic form is about, you know, attracting and hiring and inducting the right people into an organization. It then goes on to how do you retain them? How do you develop them? How do you engage them? How do you make them perform? You know, and finally, you know, it's, it, it really is about bringing and creating the lead leaders, you know, uh, of the future and, and really running an entire organization system you know the other big important part of being in career in human resources is to be able to see the bigger picture to be able to understand business as a whole to be able to understand what's going on in the economy what's going on in the world around you know and connecting that and bringing it to your organization both at an organization level 
than at a human level because if you're impacting you know this is one function which is a bridge between business and organization which is a bridge between organization and people so you're the one who's really really like a catalyst making a company successful you know as a human resource profession you have immense power to impact people who in fact uh, you know lead to the success or failure of an organization at the end of the day so i think that is a big responsibility you need to be someone with who's very skilled very focused on learning i for detail doing things meticulously sort of you know you need to write a lot of policy process shape these things right so you have to have the ability to think in a systematic manner in a manner where you can see the larger picture to look at you know uh, things which are beyond you know just working in a little silo so i think uh, that's that's really what i would say for young people wanting to be in human resources please cultivate a passion for people cultivate a passion for things happening around you learn different things you know you might be interested in psychology sociology um you know anthropology you can be interested in uh, mathematics for that matter you know you can have you know link all of that statistics for instance can give you a lot of insights into how to deal with people so there is a lot of inter interdisciplinary use that you can actually bring in if you are you know in, into and uh, interested in human resources all right so how do you measure success well i think success to me to very often changes with different stages of your life you know you create your goal posts and you know you you want to get to a point where you know you 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 know sort of go beyond certain milestones that you set for yourself early in your career but for ultimately if you were to ask me success is really finding yourself having realized the potential that you started with you know and going beyond it you know it's about really achieving beyond your potential it is about uh finding meaning in what you do in loving what you do in in contributing and you know changing people's lives i think there's a need for purpose and for uh you know when you come closer to fulfilling certain purpose that you set for yourself then you feel success uh and i also believe there's no there's no end post you know you you have to keep growing at all times so a successful person is also someone who's constantly growing learning finding a lot of fulfillment in what he or she does i think being there is is i think the most important part of life there's no one road to success there's not it's not about you know getting a corner office a ceo's office and you're you're done there's always evolution of the you know the human mind and the spirit so i think that is you know being on that journey is very very important and enjoying it is even more important all right so thank you nanda thank you so much for your time and good luck thank you for your good insight luck. thank you bye bye